Hello, uh, good evening guys, uh, good to have you here. Uh, welcome to, uh, I think this is going to be like a, a very different tutorial from what you're used to, right? So uh, here in No Code Africa, we basically uh, uh, talk about how to build web and mo mobile applications without having to write a single line of code. Yeah, so, but I just thought it necessary to uh, teach you guys how to, uh, increase your visibility on uh, LinkedIn. Yeah, so um, Joy, I can remember. I I, I must have mentioned. Uh, I must have mentioned that it was going to be by seven p.m. But I I just got like uh, a correction. All right, from the platform I use in in determining the exact time to go online. Right, so exactly it wasn't going to be seven p.m. It was going to be six p.m. Really sorry about the time mix up. Okay, so um, I hope that answers the question. And uh, welcome, guys. It's really good to have you guys here, really. And um, this one is going to be like a, a very brief. <laughs> yeah, Joy is always here. <laughs> yeah, Chica, Joy is always here. Joy is our class rep. <laughs> yeah, so it's always good to to have you guys here, and uh, we get to like share uh, meaningful. Uh, information between ourselves and uh, try to support each other, right? So uh, this is uh, this is like a, a very different training from what you're used to, right? So uh, what we're going to just talk here, talk about here, is how to optimize your LinkedIn to get to get jobs, and then I will deviate a little bit to talking about how you can position yourself as. Uh, as a creative, as a talent, I don't really have like a slide or presentation. I will just show you practical things, just like we do Flutter Flow, right? So I will share my screen at some point and show you my uh, LinkedIn account and then show you some of the things that I do in real time, right? And so you can you can learn from it. So let's give some time for more people to join so that we can possibly have like a, nearly a full house, uh, not like a full house, but let's just have a lot of people come on board, right? I think uh, so many persons might have, uh, you know, imagined that it was going to be just by um, by 7 p.m., right? But I, I'm sorry, I did mix that up a little bit. Okay, so, okay, let's just wait for a couple of uh, seconds.
Uh, okay, so I think uh, I think we're we're not having a lot of persons yet, and uh, we're already like past the the minimum time we we're supposed to start. This is gonna be like really short, I I believe. <laughs> yeah, it should be really short. So um, just like I always do, hi blessing, hi joy. Uh, okay, so there are like two blessings here. So I'll say hi blessing at Deguke, hi blessing Chime, or oh, yeah, and hi uh, Witayumi. The data nerd techie corner good to see you chica welcome bammy welcome nelson welcome aisha welcome okay so um we're gonna start in a couple of minutes from now but before we start into the real thing which is gonna be like practicals i, I don't really intend to talk like so much about uh th this thing i want to show you how it's done right so the, the thing about getting clients, right? So clients that can pay you, both local clients and international clients, is the fact that you need to make them understand that you are an authority, like you are an authority in this, in this, uh, in your field, right? So they need to understand that you're good at what you do, you are great at what you do, and then you have the you have a good work ethic, and like people have to know that. Uh, if someone wants to hire you, then they need to know that they can depend on you. They can rely on you. They can put their weakness on you because if someone hires you for a particular job, that means the person has a weakness, right? The person can't do what you what you can do. And that simply means that is that person's weakness. And it is not a simple thing for someone to want to carry their weakness on, on you, except they have found you fit, they found you worthy, they found you useful enough, and they found you capable of uh, sustaining their weight, the weight of their, you know, the weakness, right? So, so and and that's basically why we are having this session. Uh, when you see organizations, uh, you know, post a job notice that say vacancy, vacancy, vacancy. For me, like when I see it, anytime that I see it, I know it's help me, help me, help me. That's what it is. Vacancy, vacancy, vacancy is the same thing as help me, help me, help me. They want you to help them. All right, they are looking for someone that can come fill a particular position that will help their business grow from one particular point to the other, right? So they're not looking for someone who will just come in, come to the organization and and uh, and collect salary and, and just sit down and do nothing, right? The same thing with uh, clients that uh, reach out to you to hire you for remote services, right? They just want you to, uh, to help them succeed. Right, they see you as an authority, and then they've reached out to you, and they want you to help them succeed in their business. That's basically uh, why people reach out to anybody else, right? So um, that simply means for you to make yourself look like someone that that has what it takes to help another person, right? Then you need to. There are certain things you need to do. You have to look the part. Right? At least you have to look the part. You might not have all the skills. You might not have all the the, the 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 intelligence, the strategy, the tactics, but you have to start looking like it, right? It's very possible for you to look rich. Here, of course, uh, the rich people wear expensive perfumes. Uh, well, it depends on where they are rich at, right? So if it's in the Western climb, so someone who is very rich could just wear t-shirts, right? And and wear shirts, right? Wear shirts and, and look all smallish and all that, but it has a lot of money. But in the, let's say the African ecosystem, right? The African system, uh, like where I'm from, Nigeria, right? So you, uh, the, the typical Nigerian man that, that wants anyone else to know that he is rich has to wear lots of things, right? So has to wear... Um, a lot of things that just shows that he's rich, right? So from shoes to uh, glasses to rings to the shirts, everything. Like everything just has to show money, right? And and then even the youth to also dress the part to look rich. Meanwhile, maybe they might not really be rich. So, so uh, but there's something that it does to the human perception, right? And what it does basically is that it makes someone understand that, okay, this person is of this particular status. Now, no one is going to come check your account balance and see whether you have money or not, right? They are going to judge you from how they see you, right? So um, uh, they're going to judge you from how they see you. They're going to judge you from how you, you treat them right so if at all you're looking for a client you're looking for a um you know 
a, a client to pay you for the services that you know how to render, right? You need to look the part. You need to have the dressing. Not like you have to look rich. Like what I mean, you have to look the part, not necessarily by your by your appearance, but by the, 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 the things you do, the things you put out there, right? So people wouldn't know anything about you if you don't put it out there. If you don't put those uh, amazing articles on, on Medium and then put it on Twitter, no one will know that you know how to write, uh, uh, do technical writing. If you don't create those uh, amazing graphic designs and put it out there, no one will know that you know how to design, right? So you need to put yourself out there. It's called providing yourself with some form of visibility, brand visibility, brand awareness. You as a human being, you are a brand, you're someone who... Um, Others will be looking up to others. In this case, might be your clients, might be your peers, might just be anybody else. So you 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 are actually a brand yourself, okay? So you have to look the part from your dressing to the things you post online, to the things you say on comments on people's posts, and to things that you share, like a lot of things, right? So uh, these are things that will really really uh, impact your ability to either get a client or um, and get a client or not, right? So, so, uh, so, so basically, for this particular class, we just want uh, a situation whereby uh, you will get to understand how to position yourself for better visibility, how to get get it right, like get it right, and uh, in such a way that you can begin to get like reasonable clients, clients that will pay you for the services that you offer. So how do you start? First of all, you have to choose a particular platform, right? So um, some people choose to use uh, Twitter. Twitter is amazing, right? Some people choose to use Facebook. Well, Facebook is amazing, but uh, it's not really uh, good for the kind of visibility that you want, right? And then um, what else? Then we have LinkedIn. Right. So there is LinkedIn and um, LinkedIn. Everyone knows that LinkedIn is a professional network. It's a professional network and it allows you to get the kind of visibility that you need as a professional. All right. So um, the, the kind of people that are on LinkedIn, they are professionals They are You won't really see people post pictures and videos of them dancing and a lot of things there. you see people post uh, content about their profession, their career, the things that they are learning, certificates here. Uh, yeah, you can put um, you can put uh, stops on medium. Yeah, medium is fine. Right. But it takes you a while before you begin getting lots of people to read your article. You have to have subscribers before the LinkedIn, uh, the, the medium algorithm can begin to make people see your article. But on LinkedIn, I'm going to show you guys how to get like, you know, wild, uh, wild visibility. All right. But it's going to take you some effort and some consistency. And that's uh, that's the, the, the thing that that I can teach you. <laughs> I can teach you consistency. Uh, I'm very sure that most persons who are in this class have seen how I've struggled with consistency. Not I haven't struggled, but I have positioned myself in such a way that I don't skip consistency. Sometimes I, I don't feel like teaching, right? I don't, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. There was a time I almost slept in this class. <laughs> yeah. So one of the videos, I, I didn't sleep, right? But I was so dizzy. I was sleepy, but I, I had to teach. Because the thing is, if I break a pattern, uh, it's going to it's not going to allow me to to be able to function properly. There's something called inertia in physics, right? So I happen to be a science lover myself. I am an engineer, right? So um, inertia is uh, is said to be the tendency of a body to resist going into motion while at rest. So uh, when a body is at rest, like uh, this microphone right now, like this microphone is currently at rest. Uh, technically, it's at rest, but I know it's moving because the Earth is rotating. It's moving. <laughs> so, but in the in the current uh, time continuum and special orientation, right? It's it's currently uh, at rest, and it has something. It's it, that that it's that it, that it's like a property for itself that is called inertia, right? And it's a tendency to resist going into motion while at rest. And there's another inertia called uh, another inertia that is the tendency of a body that is in motion to resist going to rest. Yeah, so it's very difficult to push a car to start. It's also very very difficult to uh, stop a car that is moving. Like it's very very difficult. That's why we have brakes. And if you see the kind of uh, pressure that is being applied to brakes, 
for it to stop a moving vehicle, you understand that in Asia is something like super, super B, right? And and why am I talking about in Asia? I'm talking about in Asia because there is, uh, there is need for consistency and repetition in everything that you do, right? So if you start applying the things that I'm about teaching you in on your LinkedIn platform, on 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 other platforms that you that you find yourself in, right? You will discover that um, you will discover that you're going to make tremendous growth, right? Tremendous growth in your career. You will begin to meet people that will share opportunities with you. Begin to meet people that will uh, provide you with the you know the kind of psych that is going to help you get better at your career and of course start making money, which which is eventually the the, the end thing, right? So. Um, Without saying so much, I'm just going to jump straight into LinkedIn and show you a couple of things that you could change on your LinkedIn and how you could position yourself, how you could uh, uh, use something I call DM marketing. Uh, that's like direct messaging marketing, right? So you send people messages. And um, the beautiful thing about it is that you can send people messages, though they won't see it directly, but even though you have your sales copy correct, like very good, then it's going to make a lot of sense. And I am not a fan. I'm not a, big, I'm not a fan of you sending people uh, direct messages and you're trying to sell up front, right? I see a lot of people do that. They, they try to send me, uh, some, some marketers do send me messages and they want to sell to me directly. Like, come on, you're just, this is the first time that you're meeting me and, and you want to sell something to me. I don't even know you. I don't trust you, right? So why not just create a report first with me, right? Um, so our, I don't get this. Create content to flutter for little things to start to you think. Little things to start to you think you're good to LinkedIn. Uh, okay, so our Nicholas, I don't really understand what you're saying. I... For this particular part, I'm, I'm just, this is this particular tutorial is for my students at No Code Africa, right? I'm currently, I, I teach them how to, um, how to create web and mobile applications without writing codes, right? And I want them, basically, you don't just make, get skills for getting sick, right? You're getting skills, um, you're getting skills uh, that can, that can help you uh, get money, right? Get a job, right? So, um, uh, this particular tutorial is to help them, you know, set up their profiles on LinkedIn to really help them begin getting access to, to clients, right? That's like the idea. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm trying to see what you're saying here or create a blog, for example. Okay. No problem. Thank you very much, Nicholas. I will check your message uh, a bit later. Thank you for your contribution. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, let me just continue with what I was saying. So we're going to go ahead and then take a look at LinkedIn. And um, from there, you will be able to see a couple of things that I do personally, right? And it's going to like, um, it's going to like uh, make you uh, understand how to, you know, go about uh, setting up your portfolio, all right, to, to get jobs, right? So it's, <clears throat> it's it's amazing what we do and uh i i really believe that if i told you apply the things that i am going to show you you will do very fine okay so let me quickly share my screen and uh get straight to this uh okay so i think this is gonna be like one of the shortest classes ever right so Okay, so uh where do we start from so let's just go straight to linkedin and uh of course I believe that you you actually have a LinkedIn account. If you don't have one, you can actually get to create one. And uh, this is, of course, LinkedIn. This is how it looks like. And uh, you get to see different people's posts, and you can actually get to uh, react to uh, react to their posts, comment on their posts, and do a lot of things here, right? So um, I'm not going to show you how to react and use LinkedIn. I just want to show you the things that you need to do uh, to optimize your LinkedIn. So this is my profile, right? Um, the things that you see, uh, see me do. Okay, let me just show you the analytics and tools for my uh, account. <clears throat> so here I have like uh, 34,154 post impressions. Well, that's not super, super big and all of that. I have like 19,000 followers and uh, the growth is actually like usually really, really big, right? I think I, I grew, uh, 
I, I moved to this point, like I added 9,000 followers extra in, I think in a month, right? Yeah. So, uh, and then this is a number of people that like see my uh, profile, you know, and then there's such a, such appearances. So I, I want to start first by telling you about the, the creator mode. Yeah. The creator tool. So one of the things that you can do on your, on your, on your LinkedIn is to ensure that you, you turn on the, <clears throat> You turn on the, the creator tool. Yeah, you turn on the creator tool. So here it is. Uh, it says the turn of creator mode. So if you don't have yours turned on, turned on, you have to go go there, like try to check your settings on your profile. You turn it on. When you turn it on, you need to write, you need to put up the 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 topics, at least five topics that you, you talk about, all right? They call it topics, but basically they're like uh, keywords, right? So I talk about Africa a lot, yeah, because I am from Africa. And I talk about no code a lot. I talk about startups. I talk about technology. I talk about entrepreneurship. So these are like the things that I talk about and I want to get like visibility for it. So if at all you are a digital marketer, so you should talk a lot about digital marketing. If at all you are a mobile app developer, you should talk a lot about mobile app development, right? So you should come here and then add it mobile app development technology, uh, maybe flood of flow. Like if I told you want to really specialize on flood of flow, you just come here and specialize on flood of flow. So you add one of these things to be flood of flow. All right. And then, um, you go ahead and then do some basic settings there. So let's just go back. I'm just going to show you some basic light things that I do. It's not like, um, it's not like it's magic. So, all right. So you set up that particular part. So you will see here, creator mode is on. So if you come here to your resources, you will see, uh where to turn on the the creator mode all right then the next thing that you need to do is you need to ensure that you have a proper uh let's start with the cover photo right so have a cover photo let people know from just checking out your profile let them know what you do so basically for me i teach early stage african startup founders how to build their mvps without coding for free so that's like the first thing that i do and along along the way i also connect smes uh, SMBs, that small and mid-sized business owners with top vetted technical talents, they can hire for on-demand services. That's what my uh, startup talk on does. So I just try to capture it in just the design. Instead of you just putting the, the picture that doesn't say anything, right, as your cover photo, you can actually pass some information from this cover photo. And it makes a whole lot of sense. It might not help you in your it might not help the algorithm because algorithm does not, the the, the LinkedIn uh, bots, I don't think they crawl images or something, right? They, I, I don't know whether they can identify the text in the images, maybe, all right? So, um, but it's going to help anyone that is looking at your profile the very first time to know what you do and what you represent. And then of course, use a, a, a professional photo, right? So you can go to a studio and take a photo and then you use it. Or you use, uh, you take a photo with your phone, your smartphone, and then have a very good photo there. And then let let people know what you, what like the summary of yourself, like maybe in two roles, right? So basically for me, I'm a technology entrepreneur. I'm also the founder of Eospace, right? So, uh, and um, of course here shows the, the organization that you work with. So yeah, right now I am actually an ambassador at Inapolis University. I'm also schooling here at Inapolis University where I'm doing my master's program, right? And then uh, you can put a call to action, a link here. So this is like the link that I, I put up here because uh, it allows me to get more uh, clicks to the YouTube channel, right? So uh, I just put it here, build mobile apps, no coding, and it gets a lot of clicks from there too. And then uh, what else? I have just very few things to just show you guys. And then um, and then we, we close up, right? So. Now, another thing that I want to just quickly show you is, um, okay, this is it. You're, you're supposed to write some information about yourself. Like you need to go ahead and write something reasonable about yourself, write it and then possibly put uh, a, a number or a link or something that someone can contact you with in this particular part of your profile, right? And then put up your experience properly, right? Put up your experience properly, the different things that you do all right, and then describe the things that you do in those roles, right? And then set up your education. It's also very necessary. And um, put up some certifications and uh, qualifications that you have. Like I've taken some courses in different uh, platforms like University of London, St. Petersburg State University, uh, product school. So you can put up a lot of things here. And then there are like other, like eight licenses and certifications here. Put them all, everything that you have, just put it up. Let it be loaded. 
and um, especially the things that has that connects with the services that you offer. Don't just put irrelevant things, right? At least there should be some form of relationship between the services that you offer and uh, and your and and what you're about selling, right? Then um, you can add up the skills that you're good at, and then you can, can also demonstrate the skills by taking the LinkedIn test. All right, and then request send requests to clients that you have worked with before. All right, to give you recommendation and and reviews, send requests to uh, friends who 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 can actually vouch for your sincerity, for your doggedness, and for your talents. Right, send them and tell them please write me a recommendation, and they'll write your recommendation here on LinkedIn. All right, and it's to show here people, clients, potential clients, they go through all of these to just check you out because. Before someone will go ahead and then pay you, like get up, get money out of their pocket or their bank account, of course, and then send it to yours. It's going to take more than just you having a skill and no one knows you. It's going to take um, uh, it's going to take someone having uh, knowing too well that they can trust you. And they have lots of other people who will vouch for your honesty and credibility. OK. All right. So then uh, you can put up some honors and awards that you've gotten from fields that are close to you. Like me, I'm a tech person. So I, uh, okay, this is a scholarship for an MBA program that I'm currently doing. And then I did participate in some startup challenge sometime. And of course I got, by God's grace, I got a scholarship during my undergraduate days when I was uh, studying chemical engineering. All right. So you can just put, put up every single thing that is in your portfolio. You just set them up and then that's it. So when you're done with this, what the next thing you're going to do? Let me tell you, the next thing to do is you need to go ahead and start making posts. So this is a post I uh, I, I made, um, I think it's six hours ago, right? So this is a post I made six hours ago. I have this very catchy heading, right? Yeah, I had to use, uh, you know, Elon Musk name and then I, I, I changed it a little bit. So it's not the Elon Musk, you know, this is the, the Elon Musk from my, imagination right so because it's it has a different surname or a different name entirely okay so but but your mind is going to definitely trick you to want to read the post because it it says elon musk something something all right so elon musk okokon and you know elon musk so who is elon musk okokon all right so you're gonna be curious so you have to use a catchy headline and um uh, every single thing that you're learning you learn how to use chat gpt talk about it on linkedin Talk about how ChatGPT has helped you become a better no-code developer. Talk about how ChatGPT has helped you become a better writer, right? Put it up there. Like you have to make people, you have to make people see you. You have to be visible for people to hire you. You have to be visible for people to even think that you're trustworthy. All right. So, and then in your in your content, right? Just try to get a, a catchy heading and then set up your post. And then of course, let there be a call to action, like a small call to action that like this, we have, a, I have a call to action here that says, click the first link in the comment section. And uh, the reason why I did this, I didn't put the link in the main post is because uh, LinkedIn is observed to uh, not really allow articles that carry um, the links in the body of the, the, the post to rank, right? So what you just need to do is put it as a comment, right? So you put it as a, as a comment and then still put some extra call to action telling people to follow you if they like what you what you said, right? So a lot of people will follow you. Some people will make send connections to you, right? So you don't necessarily need to say hire me. Like, like if someone follows you and trusts you, then eventually they are going to like hire you, right? And the, the post here is just like, uh, okay, it's 14 hours ago. And then it already has like almost 20,000 impressions, right? So uh, some of my posts really go as, I think one of my posts has actually done 250,000 impressions before. And that's the benefit of being able to like just leverage on the platform, right? Leverage on the platform, right, right, right. Talk, talk, talk. You have to sell yourself. There's no way, there's no other way around. You have to sell yourself. Let people know that you know how to do what you, 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 you say you know how to do. And of course, when you finally get the, get the the jobs make sure you deliver on your promise okay then um what else the next thing is of course there's a call to action here make sure that every single person that that interacts with your posts i mean by virtue of commenting you have to give an appropriate response make sure that everyone's comment does not go unresponded to right so you have to respond to everybody and you don't respond to it three days later 
You don't respond to it one week later. Respond to it as it drops, right? When it drops like that, LinkedIn's algorithm, the, the bots will just know that, oh, this is an active post and it's going to trend. And uh, let me show more people, right? So you just do that and it's just going to work out, okay? And then, uh, so try to comment to everybody's post as they drop it, okay? And uh, so basically the idea now is write a lot about the services that you offer. And when people comment and not just write about the services, you can hire me for this. No, 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 no. Talk about how the service that you, talk about how what you do can actually help a business person make more money or grow and scale their businesses affordably. And then talk about uh, why they need someone that knows how to do this thing. And maybe you can end it with a call to action that says, follow me or, or for more details, uh, contact me, or if I told you have more questions, drop it on the comment section. I will do well to respond to it and all of that, right? So it's going to allow people to understand over time that you are an authority in this particular field. And when they have need for that, right, they will call on to you. That's like how you go about it. And then uh, finally, which is how I'm going to wrap up with this, uh, try to join communities, right? Try to join communities. Let me see what I can see. Uh, try to join some some communities like you know I, I belong to some communities that um, that that allows me to I can post contents there like this Africa oil and gas uh, cryptocurrency traders now most of your clients will be found in these different communities right so join communities by communities I mean groups when you join those communities like let's go ahead and check it for example let's say Africa oil and gas. I just clicked on it. This is like where I, I do post some of my contents, right? And they have like a very large audience here. So we have um, 313,844 members. Now, out of all these people, right, you can actually click to, to see the, the number of people that are here. And yes, you can message them. All right. So if you check them out and you see that, uh, let's say they are small business owners or they are potential clients, message them. Send them a message, not a message to sell but a message to engage them, all right? Give them a scenario, give them uh, some form of question that will require an answer. Not, uh, I, I, I can do this, you should hire me. I see a lot of uh, marketers do that. It doesn't make sense because people only hire from the place of trust. It's just marketing psychology. I have to trust you to hire you, all right? Because uh, hire, hire, hiring you simply means I'm gonna send money to you. I don't know where you stay. What if you run away? So uh, I need to have some form of confidence that you're not going to run away. You're trustworthy. And a lot of people know you. All right. So like that, it's going to make sense. Right. So that's why you need visibility. You need to use LinkedIn professionally. Right. And so you send people messages. The last one here that I'm going to talk about is the jobs part. All right. So you have to come to the jobs part here. And uh, let, let's say you're looking for either remote jobs. Right. So you come to the jobs part. And then when you come here, you have to set up your, do some application settings. Like you have to set up some things here, like upload your resume. All right. That's your CV. And then turn it on because they said, yeah, share your res 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 resume. Right. I don't know. I think that's how it's been pronounced. So CV, share your CV data with all recruiters. All right. So you can turn it on. Sometimes it's always off. Right. So you have to turn it on. And then after that, I think that's like the basic thing that you do. Go ahead and then do other different settings that you need to do here. The next thing is just go ahead and type uh, a job. Like for instance, I have been uh, looking at jobs in, you type the job, then then type location. I've been looking at jobs in Finland. Finland is one of the happiest places in the world, right? And then after that, just go ahead and search. When you search, you see lots of different uh, marketing roles, and then you can go ahead and apply it for it. As simple as ABC. Now the thing is this, you will get lots of rejections, no problem. There will be a particular uh, job, uh, a particular company that will say yes to you. And you just need only one yes to change your story, all right? So uh, I believe that I have been able to like, you know, bless you with this information. And uh, if I thought it has been really useful to you, please just click on the subscribe button and uh, subscribe to this channel, like the, the, the video, and try to see how you can implement the things that I have said during this, uh, short training very short training all right and then uh, i would like to get to hear your feedback how you got your first client your second client and how you're living your best life ever all right okay this was really good and thank you very much for for listening 
And um, I think that's that brings me to brings all of us to the end of the session. It was going to be like a very short one, like I said, and this one I'm going to stick to my words, right? So, um, okay, so Valerie, okay, you're saying that he's talking about Nicholas. Okay, wait, I don't understand. Okay, maybe you're trying to say that Nicholas is asking us to talk about flutter flow and medium okay yeah so i think that that works too right so talk about it but medium you really need to have had like a long line of uh, followers but the thing is this on on i have seen people with just about 500 uh, connections or 500 followers or 1000 followers i've seen them get like um get their posts uh, uh seen by close to 300,000 people like the post reach but they just have 1,000 followers, for instance, or 500 followers. So, but now for Medium, you need to have lots of subscribers and possibly a large number of posts and all of that before you can have like visibility. But if it's on LinkedIn, anybody can become, anybody can get the, the, the visibility that they need. That's why I like, uh, I like LinkedIn a lot. And then uh, for social media like Facebook, yes, you can leverage on it, but it's not a professional platform. Uh, it's a professional platform, but it's not really like uh, link LinkedIn, right? It's not really like LinkedIn because LinkedIn is strictly for for professionals, right? So Facebook is good. You can go ahead and use it, post your stuff. That I use it. I use there too. I use everywhere, right? So I use our uh, I use our uh, Facebook. I use Twitter. I use Instagram. I use LinkedIn, right? In fact, I use something uh, a platform called Buffer to shadow my posts across my different uh, platforms. And, and, and that makes it easy. So I don't get to post everywhere, right? So I, I use everywhere, but where I have seen and gotten results uh, mostly is from, it's from uh, LinkedIn, all right? And that's why I, I thought it necessary that uh, I should take uh, the, 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 the no code Africa uh, participants and students through this training so that they can also begin to get some benefits from uh, being part of, um, of getting visibility from from LinkedIn. I think that's that's all for for today and for this lesson. All right. So um, I don't know if we have any other question. This is time for questions. If you have questions, I could take some questions in the next uh, two to three minutes, and then we we close. So if you have any question, please just let me know so that we can have it like quickly. All right, Bami. Uh, thank you very much too. Yes. Okay, so uh, if there's any question, I would I can wait for a couple of minutes to see if at all we have questions. Uh, Chika, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so if there's any question at all, you could just like uh, drop it in the comment section, and then I will try to see how I can uh, follow it up. And then uh, Nicholas, I will try to uh, read your message again and then try to understand what you meant. And then of course I could send, I could drop a, a, a response to your comment. Okay, so there are no questions. One more minute to see if at all we can have anybody asking any questions. Just one extra minute. So, all right, all right guys, I, I really hope that you will be able to apply what you've learned so far in on, your, on, on LinkedIn, on any other social media platform, because I think so many of those things will also are uh, also help all right andy andy thank you very much so i think you can you can apply those things on your social media platforms and it will really really help you all right okay thank you very much guys and have a lovely evening tomorrow we'll have another class for no code development and uh, we'll continue from where we stopped uh today that's the afternoon class that we had earlier the next lab okay crispin is asking about the next lab Okay, so uh, I think tomorrow we'll have both a class and a lab, right? So I think it, 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 we'll have a class and a lab tomorrow so that uh, people can uh, share the, the, the challenges that they have in their projects, right? So yeah, Crispin, tomorrow will be uh, class and labs. And this is like um, this is like the, the last week for, okay, Martins, thank you. So this is like the last week for real training for this current cohort. 
Yeah, but I will still arrange some ad hoc classes, impromptu classes next week that's the, the 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 fifth week when you're handling your project but it will not be like consistent plenty plenty classes it'll just be maybe when a, a good number of people have a particular issue then we can uh arrange classes to see how we can solve it together okay valerie thank you very much how do we structure a cv to match okay so how do we structure a cv to match any job description um Okay, so for a CV, right, CV, I think what you could just do for a CV is make your CV as simple as possible and then make it such that it is, if you're a graphic designer or a product designer, make sure that your CV looks like the CV of a product designer. Let it be catchy. Let it be beautiful, all right? Use the tools that you use in creating graphic design to create these tools. Give it the vibe that it requires. If I told you a developer, all right, make it look like that. Right. So make it look like that. Make it catchy and and make it memorable. Do something that will make people uh, remember your CV, not just people, the HR. Like the HR has lots of CVs that they need to um, they need to go through. So uh, make sure that your CV looks tangible enough for them to like quickly read and understand that you have the, the, the exact the skills that they need or not. Right. And then also uh, try to capture. Can you please share a sample message to send to someone's DM? Okay, so I think what I will do is for this, I will drop a sample message on the community on, on WhatsApp. That's going to be for the students, right? I'll drop it on WhatsApp, a sample message for someone that you're trying to just create a, a, a rapport with. You're not selling. You're just, it's a sales copy that you could just um, trigger the person to respond. Like there's a question in it and um, it's basically scenario-based kind of uh, uh, sales copy, right? So anybody that sees it will definitely want to respond to it and not feel that you're trying to sell to them. And then uh, I think there's another thing that I missed out from saying, when you send these messages and then there's a connection and the next thing you just need to do is go to their post, see their post, engage, right? Engage, drop some positive and meaningful comments on their post, right? I don't mean you should just go and say, this is a nice post. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you have to drop a comment and like, like comment on the post. If at all they were describing a particular issue, right? Go ahead and then comment on it and then provide like a real detailed uh, uh, explanation on it, right? And then um, what else? So comment and uh, engage on their post. Let them notice you that, okay, so there's something about this uh, Chica. There's something about this Bami. It's always commenting on my post. It's always uh, giving me positive feedback, positive review or negative review, but politely. Uh, it's always trying to engage in my article. Then uh, they will see you as uh, a fan. From fan, you become a friend. And uh, or an acquaintance. From acquaintance, it's very easy to ease into becoming a, a someone who they can be, uh, they can hire for a particular service, right? Because now at some point, they now trust you. They trust your credibility because you've responded intelligently to so many things that they have seen, like they've been posting, right? So it's good. Okay, so uh, Crispin, thank you. Uh, what if you're interested in tech but do not have much experience to back it up in your CV? Hmm. You're interested in tech but you don't have much experience. Uh, well, you you can you can volunteer, right? The organizations that can allow you to volunteer in their uh, in their businesses, you can volunteer in those organizations and then gather some experiences. Uh, six month experience is good. Um, and then another thing is you always have friends around you. Those are startup founders, guys that are always trying to build something, tech startup here and there, right? They might not look like it. They might not have um, the money now, but seriously, if you know that the skill that you have can help their business, reach out to them and tell them that you're going to provide them with pro bono service, right? It's a free service. All you just need to do is uh, you want them to, at some point, be able to vouch for you that you, you're good at what you say you know how to do. Right. So work for them. It's work for free. Right. The, the, the English word is to volunteer. Right. So you work, you volunteer your skills and then gather some experiences from your volunteering experience. And then that's it. That's how you gain experience. And then um, there's another way to gain experience without having to uh, work for anyone. That experience is what you get when you work on projects. So you say you're a no code developer. Right. 
fine, no problem. You don't need to work for anyone for me to know that you know how to do what you say you know how to do. What you just need to do is pick up platforms that are around, pick up Facebook, pick up Twitter, pick up LinkedIn, pick up uh, Uber Eats, build it from scratch, right? Start from, if I told you you're also a product designer, design it, and then from there, uh, do the user flow, and then go, uh, go ahead and then um, create the application, and it's running, all right? It, it, the, the, the beautiful thing is that Flutterflow won't charge you a dime for you to allow your application to keep running on their, on their, on their business, right? So, um, so create these things, and then put it on your portfolio. Anybody that sees that you can build something like Uber Eats, you can build something like uh, Uber or uh, Fiverr or Upwork or something. We'll know that, okay, this guy is good at what he says he knows how to do, right? So that's another way to get uh, a lot of experience, okay? So you can just work on projects, rep replicate projects and build it from start from scratch up to finishing point, okay? And how about, or uh, let me see, uh, how about we are in different field. How do we put it on LinkedIn without it looking as if you're just jumping from one field to the other? <clears throat> okay, so there's something about um, positioning, right? And you, you have to be unique. You don't have to be doing everything. I think that's what, what Valerie is asking here, right? So uh, like for myself, you wouldn't see anything on my LinkedIn apart from my academics that shows that I studied chemical engineering. I wouldn't, you wouldn't see it, me put it somewhere like chemical engineering there. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that again, right? I'm not even, I'm not practicing, right? So there's no need me putting it everywhere. I just want to tailor my, uh, my, my profile to just uh, maybe three keywords, like, you know, no code, talents, entrepreneurship, right? Something like that. So it allows people to know that, okay, when they need talents, they can reach out to me. Or when they need anything done, right? Since I talk about on-demand services, then they will reach out to me. And uh, so that's like it. So you can you can represent like two, two or three things, right? Not so much. And then try to make sure that it looks like it connects, right? So that's like, that's like the way I can talk about this. And then, uh, of course, you can always switch career. So even though you, 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 you had love for a particular career and then it's no longer there, switch. I used to do 3D modeling and animation. Um, <clears throat> I wish I could share, share a video with you guys, but I used to do 3D modeling and animation. And uh, at some point, I was so uh, fascinated with the whole thing. And then at some point, I lost interest. So yeah, you can always switch. And But if you check my portfolio, you won't see anything that has to do with 3D because I don't want anybody to be confused. I want you to know when you come to David, it's either marketing, no code, or helping you get the right talent to hire for your business. So that's like the idea. That's, that's like how I position myself, right? So I believe that answers your question. And then, um, okay, so Bami is saying 40 at the comment part. So try to improve, right? Try to comment on people's posts. You can get a lot of followership just by commenting on people's posts. You don't even need to post. If you can give like, because your comment in on someone else's post that, that makes a lot of sense will attract reactions. And when people see that, ah, this guy is sensible, this guy is very nice, right? They will follow you, they'll reach out to you. So lots of, it's another strategy to get followership and get visibility. Comment. You can decide that, okay, today I'm not posting anything of my own, but I'm just going to look for meaningful articles that is around my territory, around my domain, and then I comment on the post. Look for high-profile authors. Uh, not so, so high-profile, but if you can look for high-profile, but look for when their post is still very fresh. Not like it was posted three weeks ago, you can't comment. The, the algorithm is no longer allowing that post to rank. So if it's just like the first day or the second day, yes, yeah, so you're among the first few people that commented. There's a huge possibility that people that get to see it will react to your comment depending on how uh, creative and intelligent your comment was, okay? Is there a opportunity or site where we can find tech startups for volunteer reasons. Okay, so I think there are, but um, I think the, the only one I could recommend right now is uh, Opportunities for Africans, I think so. And then uh, for volunteer reasons, um, I think I would try to find find one. And then if I told you a part of the No Code Africa community, I can share it because my responsibility is to teach and also to see how I can help make your life better. All right. And um, how do... 
Okay, so someone is saying, how about I do 100 days of producing replicated applications in Flutterflow? Will it add to? Yes, it will. Put Do that, the 100 days of uh, Flutterflow. Perfect. All right, so you start by building a basic uh, to-do list app, then build the next thing like that consistently. In fact, you'll be amazed that it doesn't even have to be 100 days, really. Uh, people people make it 100 days um, because we, we attribute like 100 days to like uh, peak performance kind of scenario. You can do 10 days. <laughs> you can do 30 days. It's good. Right, because if you say 100 days, you could get tired at some point. So you could do uh, 30 days, you could do uh, uh, 25 days, and then you just keep building stuff. And it doesn't have to be like complete uh, projects, right? But the fascinating part of the project. And then write a lot about it. Don't just show them. Write. People read a lot. So write because they might just get fascinated with what you did. They don't know how difficult it was or how simple it was. They might think you coded it and they're like, okay, this person is a techie, he's a developer, no problem. They are the ones that build this thing. But let them understand that, oh, this application here, it would have taken a developer three, three to six months, but I built it under seven hours. Wow, something like that, right? So people will be excited about seeing things like that. Okay, so, um, all right. So I, 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 I thank every one of you for the questions that have come in and for your presence here. It makes a whole lot of sense to me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I think this is the end of the, the brief class on uh, optimizing your LinkedIn account to get better visibility and get a better uh, client, okay? All right, have a lovely evening and see you in tomorrow's class.